Hey everyone, Presito here, your second favorite Uniswap babe. I know it's been a long time since I made the last video, but I've decided to cover some projects which I think are quite bullish despite the market. As you know, the market is still quite cuck. Uh, projects are still not performing well. But as you know, the current hype is around move to earn tokens. Those have been performing really well. Some meme coins have been doing well and the occasional uh, standard project has been doing well as well. But most projects are doing cuck. So that's why it's really difficult to make videos on my part. I as I said in my previous video, I don't want to promote anything or suggest anything or even just bring it to your attention if I don't think it will do well. And like I've said in the past, I wouldn't uh, suggest something to you guys that I wouldn't invest in myself. So I'm going to be covering a few projects in this video that I think have potential to do well. And remember, when I cover projects in my videos, I'm not telling you to buy them after they list. It's just making you aware of their private sales or public sales and my opinion on whether I think it's good to get in it. And these ones I think could be good. Obviously do your own research as well, but if I had to invest, I would. So take that as you as you please, but that's my opinion. So the first project I'm going to be covering is Step App. And this is a move to earn project that's going to be launching on DAMaker. As you can see here, Step App will turn your fitness into a social experience that pays you. Build your step count by walking, jogging, or running to earn, compete with friends or strangers, socialize locally or globally, and experience the metaverse and your physical world in a dynamic new way. And as I said earlier, move to earn projects are doing really well. Obviously, I'm sure most of you have heard of Steppen. Uh, that's over a billion dollar market cap, I think, which is just insane. And I think it's really an interesting concept that uh, could really build a lot of real world uh, traction because people are going to be doing this anyways. And if they can earn crypto while doing it, and if it's easy enough to set up with a easy app, then why wouldn't people do it? It's a really, really interesting concept. And if they can bring it to the masses, it's going to perform insanely well. And here's some example of how the app is going to look. So what they're also going to be doing, uh, some interesting topics is that they're going to be doing buybacks 50% of the fees, I presume, from the app uh, will be used for buybacks. They're going to do burns. There's going to be staking rewards and liquidity incentives. So if we go to the DAO Maker page of the overview of the project and everything about it. So first thing I notice that's really pro is the initial market cap is very low. 343,000 initial market cap. The public round is uh, in registration phase at the moment. So you can still register for that. Uh, three days, 15 hours from when I'm recording this that you have to register. And to be eligible, you're going to need $2,500 worth of any token in your wallet. And it can be on any EVM. Uh, so it can be you know, on Ethereum or any other uh, compatible chain that is linked to Ethereum on your MetaMask account. Here you can see the individual allocation. It will differ, but you can actually get quite a decent amount. Uh, so this is definitely a project to uh, keep an eye on since you can get in a decent amount of uh, allocation. So let's have a look more about uh, what it's all about. So what uh, makes it unique compared to some competitors? You can see the market cap of some other similar projects, which is 72 million. It's insane. 1.4 billion. <laughs> Super insane. And this project is only 343,000 initial market cap. And obviously, if it gets anywhere near there, that is really huge gains. And the backers are really strong as well. So that's very important always. Here you can see the revenue streams uh, from purchasing of the NFTs, the sneaks, uh, and uh, trading sneaks on the marketplace. And they're going to make fees from that. They're going to use different technologies, uh, such as Metaverse as well. They're going to have Android and iOS app, which is pro, even their own native crypto wallet. And they're going to have two tokens, the FitFi token, where you can stake to earn portion of ecosystem fees. Uh, it includes a cooldown and breaking that uh, causes a penalty, so you'll make less uh, gains. And they're going to have tiered staking uh, where you get discounts on the NFT market. And then they're going to have the other token, the KCAL token, the calorie token, which is rewarded for burning calories. And they burn the calorie token in the creation and maintenance of sneaks. So it's a really interesting concept they've got going on. So let's have a look at some of their, well, their team. As you can see, 
the XCFO Xerion, which is uh, obviously, I'm sure most of you have heard of Xerion app, which is really big. So that's super bullish. And if we have a look at the token distribution, one thing I really, really like about this project is they only have one round, this public sale round, no special private rounds with crazy cheap prices. Everyone has the same price, everyone has the same lockup, and I think that's very fair. And I think projects should look at doing this for everything. Uh, so you can see 10% TGE, three month cliff, and then 5% monthly, which is a decent amount considering the potential of this project. Then you can also see on their Telegram, they've got 31,000 members, 5,000 online, which is really pro numbers. So I must give Step Up a Chos Pro. I think it's got a ton of potential, definitely worth trying to get into if you can. And obviously the market is really bad at the moment, but this is a project I think can overcome the pre-sale bear market. Next up, I've got Metafame, which is a Metaverse project that's actually going to be the first one, as they claim, that's going to be on Pulse Chain. And as I've said in previous videos, Pulse Chain is going to be a really hyped blockchain that's coming up. I think it's going to do insanely well. Could easily be top 10, top 20 on coin market cap. So the first metaverse on that is a big deal. And it's going to be Bluezilla incubated and launching basically on all the Bluezilla launch pads. And as you know, those perform, even in this bad market, still perform very well. So this is definitely one to keep an eye on. If we have a look uh, through their uh, sale and their location, what's really cool is everyone has the same price as well. 0 0.001 dollar, 180,000 initial market cap, which is tiny. And as you can see all the terms here, 10% at TGE, one month cliff, private sale over six months and all the public sale over five months. So you get your tokens slightly quicker than the private sale and even the price is the same. Advisors and all that three month cliffs on all that. So that's really good. You can see the prices on all the launch pads that's going to be on Velas pad, Game Zone, Meta V pad and Pulse pad, all the Bluezilla launch pads. So this one's really bullish based on that. So this is one to keep an eye on. It could have a lot of potential, especially due to the fact that it's going to be the first Metaverse uh, project on Pulse Chain. So that's really promising. So this one, I'll give a backup pro. We'll see how that's going to go, but I am bullish on it personally. Next up, I want to cover a project that I've already covered actually. Uh, I think it was end of last year or very early this year, and that is Corite. And I even gave it a Chos Pro back then. This was when the market was a lot more bullish. Obviously now the market's a bit more bearish, but I'm going to leave it as a Chos Pro and I'll explain why. So this is the project um, in case you don't remember. It's a music project, uh, basically. So what makes me even more bullish now, even in my first video, I covered that uh, it might have hints of going on Binance. And now with some recent announcement, it makes me think that even more. Obviously, this is still just speculation, but they have partnered with Chromia and Chromia is known to have very good ties with Binance. And many of their projects have listed on Binance, for example, Mines of Delania was the latest one. And now if they're partnering with Corite, it makes you ask the question if uh, the link with Binance will help Corite as well. Then we can see that there was a tweet by CZ himself, just stating music plus crypto and Corite is music plus crypto. And Corite even had Alan Walker join them. And you can see a tweet by Alan Walker. So that is huge news. So if there's a project that's music plus crypto, Corite is really a strong candidate. Also, we can see here that they completed raising 6.2 million in their private token sale. And if we have a look at some of the investors, it's some really big names here. There's KuCoin Labs, Gate Labs. Uh, we can see a Coin98 which we know is, has really close ties with Binance as well. So everything is there to make you think Corite could go on Binance. Obviously, as I said, it's speculation, but it's definitely one to keep an eye on very closely because I still will give this a chos pro based on that chance of going on Binance. Obviously, if it does, it will perform pro. And then lastly, I wanted to cover an NFT project that recently launched that is really interesting the quantum access pass. So as it says on the OpenSea page, it says it's an exclusive community where everyone can partake in otherwise inaccessible opportunities 
The project was initiated through a free launch with fair distribution that brought together a value add driven group of individuals with a focus on identifying exciting Web3 projects. So basically, it's going to be a launch pad where having the NFT is what you need to get into the sales. And it's a very strong team running it, so it's really promising. As you can see through uh, the pitch deck, it gives you more information. Obviously, they're going to be getting seed rounds and very early phase uh, rounds of projects that if you have the NFT, you'll be able to get access to that. Their mint was actually free and it's 1.6 Ethereum floor price with 2,000 that were minted, which is really impressive considering it's free. It shows you the people in it are holding. Obviously, if people weren't bullish, the floor price would be near zero with people just taking the free money since it was a free mint. But this shows you the community support is really strong for this project. So my hopes are high with uh, what sort of projects they're going to be offering. So this is definitely one to keep an eye on. I'm not telling you to go and buy the NFT. I'm just telling you to do some research on it, see if it's something you're interested in. It's definitely a good opportunity. Um, obviously, it just depends what sort of projects they bring and how the community grows. But it seems strong so far. So that's prep. So that wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys are having a pro Easter and uh, I'll see you guys next time.